All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a plethora of things that we found, and we got a wonderful company that sent us some more products. Good old Super Clean. And there's going to be a giveaway at the end of this video, so stay tuned. We got some magnificent stuff, some old rusty, crusty scissors, a gigantic wrench, double-ended curvy wrench, and our plethora of license plates. I don't think it's going to get the rust off, but it's probably going to get all this nastiness off of them. And they are nasty. Folks, we're gonna start scrubbing, but the best thing about this is it is biodegradable. You ain't gotta worry about all the harsh chemicals or anything. Now, you're probably supposed to wear gloves, but uh, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll deal with it. Sprayer on down. Some of these that were really bad, that already had rust all over the paint, yeah, the rust uh, took the paint off with it, but some of them turned out freaking beautiful. A lot of the rust even came off. Let's wipe it down. But some of the newer ones didn't suffer so well. The blue paint on this one didn't last. That blue paint literally came right off. So that must have been sprayed on after. Let's wipe them down. This one, oh, gorgeous. A little bit of clean in there. Oh, see, look, it wipes off with hand, by hand now. Wow, that one turned out amazing. A little bit of paint loss. You can't complain about that. Beautiful. Some of the ones with heavy rusting are gonna need a little bit more work, but if you scratch at them a little bit, they start coming off more. Like we'll work on this one a little bit more. I didn't want to go too heavy on it, but if you scrub on it, that rust starts coming off. It's gonna take some of that white paint with it, but you could easily go back over the white paint, or that's actually yellow paint. But that rust 
starting to come off. You can tell the color difference. The late 60s into the early 70s turned out much better. The ones from the 50s in the early 60s, the paint didn't seem to hold on too good, but this weird yellow paint or whatever's on that, I don't even know what's on that, but there's nice blue paint under that. It's got a weird yellow color on it. But yeah, to the mid 60s, not so good. Mid 60s to 70s, perfect. 80s, paint not so good, came right off. But that was all bubbled up before from being under the under the house. We found all these under a house. And there was a nut and bolt holding these together, and that unfortunately broke right off. But uh, yeah, she's uh, pretty nice. All the plating came off of there, the chrome. But she's good underneath. Again, I didn't expect much on this. This is just pure rust and pitting. So we're going to have to get in deep with the wire wheel. It's flaking a little bit, but we also went through electrolysis. Are we ever going to need a wrench this big? No, this thing is absolutely massive. But are we going to clean it up and save it? Yes. And I guess the question is, are we doing this the proper way? Not a chance. We're doing it the restoration way. Restoration. Turning the rust into something that ain't rust. So it'll last. This stuff gets left all rusty and crusty in the ground. It's going to shrivel up and break in half and turn into all the other stuff we found that breaks in your hands. I guess we better tighten the vise down, huh? <sighs> We got writing, what is it, H. Williams forged in. Well, you can see it a lot better now. J.H. Williams and Company. Something forged in the USA. Maybe drop forged is what I'm guessing, drop forged. But she's very pity. We would have to stand here, oh God, for hours with a file or something to get that all true again. But we're gonna throw the wire wheel at it one more time to try to get any little tiny bits of rust we can out of there. And then we're gonna paint it and keep it from rusting. It worked with the wrench. It worked with the axe. It worked with the sledgehammer. So why won't it work for this big old dirty wrench? Let's do it. Well, here she is. We're gonna give her one more bath and then we're gonna start laying paint to her. I took the wire wheel and I ground down in all these pits. You know, it's not gonna make it better. Um, well, it will make it better with the rust. It's not gonna make it look any better, but it's a wrench, it'll function. A wrench is a wrench. We ain't ever gonna use it, but it's a cool conversation piece. A gigantic freaking wrench. You could beat somebody to death with this thing. It's looking nice and party. This thing went in electrolysis for, oh God, a month. Turning it on for like eight hours a day. I don't like leaving electrolysis on when I'm not home, just in case something were to happen. Like eight hours a day for a month. This thing was in there for a long flipping time, but she's nice and sturdy still. All right, folks. She's in the old redneck paint booth. Let's give her a shot here. Free of all contaminants, no dust, no sand, nothing. Nothing but quality. Oh, you son of a biscuit. J. 
junk. Well, I guess we're getting a green wrench today. Forgot to give her the rust treatment anyway. That's usually good enough, the rust treatment. That'll turn it a black color. Let that dry for a minute. And we'll give her a paint and primer of green. We got green or tan? Ah, eh, we'll give her tan, why not? Krylon, Color Max, Satin Brown Boots. Good enough. Yeah, so, uh, we got her working again. I guess we should have cleaned out that, the nozzle, instead of cleaning out the hole for the can, because the nozzle was just all bunged up. Yes, now we're going to use that as a primer, and this is the paint. An extra layer, a couple layers of paint ain't gonna hurt nothing. Because who wants a brown wrench, really? Black, the way to go. How do we keep getting dirt in our paint job? That is blowing my mind. We're in a paint booth for Christ's sake. Much better. Now this takes considerably more long of a time to dry, but it's gonna look way better. Now, for your chance to enter to win the package from Super Clean, all you gotta do is put a comment down below. I want you to comment super clean and that'll get you entered for a chance to win a care package from super clean and you got one week from the posting of this video. I will put the dates here on the screen. You got one week. After that we will be doing a random comment generator anywhere in it to put super clean in there and you'll be entered. And the winner, I'll have them email me after the end of it and I will put your info out to Super Clean and they will send you a care package. Wonderful. Thank you for Super Clean for sending us the Super Clean to try on today's video. There we go, people. A lot of these cleaned up beautifully and I will go and do a nice clean sweep over here so you can see what they looked like. The late 60s to early 70s looked amazing. What well, the mid 70s looked amazing. Prior to like 1965, I don't know what the deal was, but the paint didn't hold up like the late 60s and the up to the mid 70s turned out. That turned out beautiful. And the 80s, oh, that paint wasn't so good. for the early 50s here on the lettering did not hold up but that orange turned out beautifully absolutely beautifully but this would need some nice blue paint to come back on it uh, that just I don't know what it was but it did not hold up properly this one beautiful except for the rust on there rusted really bad the paint on this was already bubbling before we even started Again, they were under the ground for 40, 50 years in some cases, some even up to 60 years. This one, these, the paint on the letters was okay, but the blue on the background, the primer's still holding on, but the blue, not so much. I don't know what it was about the 70s and the late 60s, but that paint is beautiful. It is a shame this one's rusted. We could probably do some work, maybe some steel wool. Really low steel wool might work on that. But I don't know, I don't wanna mess it up. Perfect, absolutely perfect. I think 14W is a big truck. Absolutely gorgeous, 76. Perfect, that cleaned up amazing. Except for, you know, the dings and stuff that were already in it, but super clean ain't gonna fix dings. Again, early 60s, paint didn't turn out too good. 
this had a crease but they cleaned up great the old ranch is looking beautiful and now it's not gonna rust anymore Oop, the paints a little wet still but she'll dry up scissors turned out great except for the tips are rusted off I didn't notice that before the bolt rusted off and the tips of the scissors rusted off but the blades are still good a little bit of rust to clean up but she's beauty thank you for super clean for sending us the super clean to try on today's video and we will see you on the next peace Thank you.